The holidays are filled with both cheer and stress, and that stress can actually weaken your immune system. So joining me now is registered dietitian Dave Grotto with three rules to live by to stay healthy through the entire holidays. Welcome, Dave. Well, it's great to be on. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, thanks for being with us on The Morning Blend. Now, you've got some tips for us to beat this stress, beat fatigue, beat stress, beat the depression that can come with the holidays. Share a little with us. Well, in fact, I have a new book coming out called 101 Optimal Life Foods. And what I found is that book really targets these health conditions that get in the way of living. Sure, we're concerned about heart disease and cancer and so forth, but many of the patients I see in my clinic are fighting fatigue, depression, uh, having physical, mental, sexual performance challenges. So there are many things that we can do that are easy to do uh, through these three main pillars of health and which is why I'm really glad to be working with this wonderful health initiative called uh, Life Supplemented. And what they do in this health initiative is really promote the three tenets, which is improving your diet, filling in any sort of those nutritional deficiencies with dietary supplements, and then also increasing physical activity. So I'd love to share some examples today. Yeah, I think we always need a little reminder to just go back to the basics on those three pillars. And that's a really good place mm -hmm. to start with it. You've got some of that advice to follow those three pillars a little bit more seriously for the holidays, right? Yes, and in fact, you can get a snapshot of where you're at with your diet, with your supplement program, with your physical activity program, by simply going to the website lifesupplemented.org, and there you will find this wonderful interactive tool. It takes you about five minutes to fill out the questionnaires uh, online, and um, it's called My Wellness Scorecard, and it'll give you some immediate feedback of where you're at. So you can score the highest, which is called an alpha well, but I should tell you, Tiffany, it's only 5% of the nation has scored in that uh, unique elite uh, category, <laughs> if you will. Uh, but then a lot of us score in the well category. I, I felt fortunate to score there. But 75% of Americans are scoring in the wanna be well category or the oh well category. Now, Tiffany, did you take the test before our interview? I have not. I think I would score okay healthy, though. <laughs> That's good. Well, the nice thing is even if you're a well and you want to be an alpha well, it gives you some ideas about what you can do to improve uh, your health status right then. And I think one of the great tools, uh, usefulness for this tool, is you can print out the scorecard, go see your doctor or registered dietitian to get advice of what you may need to do. For example, maybe your diet isn't the best and you're really short on fruits and vegetables. Well, simply adding in a fruit and vegetable is a great idea. But what if you're not a big fruit and vegetable lover to get all those antioxidants and vitamin C? Well, maybe a dietary supplement such as a multivitamin will help kind of round that out. Uh, vitamin D, there's deficiencies because, you know, both of us living here in the Midwest, we're not always getting the most amount of vitamin D during the wintertime. Uh, so there's recommendations for that also on there. Well, that's really interesting, too, and I know I read that there's a new national survey out that you can talk to us a little bit about that can tell us real quickly what registered dietitians do when it comes to taking um, those recommended supplements, right? Sure. Well, not only am I a registered dietitian, but I was a spokesperson for the American Dietetic Association for over six years, and I'm here to tell you today that though I know what to eat, I am no different than any of the viewers out there today. I love food, especially holiday food. So sometimes <laughs> I get a little bit off my game, and apparently I'm not the only one. In fact, the survey showed that 96% of registered dietitians take a dietary supplement to fill in those edges. In fact, not surprising to me is that 97% of them recommend dietary supplements to their patients. But it's not only registered dietitians. You can go to lifesupplemented.org and find out what cardiologists are recommending, uh, nurse practitioners. Uh, what their favorite supplements are. That's great. Well, thank you so much, great. Dave. That's really good information. And that third pillar is also that exercise. So, again, for more information, you can check out the website lifesupplemented.org that Dave mentioned. Thanks for being on the Morning Blend.